Let's play to a tie 27 here, and here we go with another Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. So, in the last episode, we battled uh, Pokemon Gym Leader Rally. R wait, Rally. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Who is a fighting uh, fighting Pokemon specialist who used uh, Machab, Meditite, and a Maki uh, Pudo. So, after you complete that, you are going to go through this cave to deliver uh, the letter to Steven, or you could have done that before. It doesn't matter, but you you probably want to do it afterwards because you can get Flash, but I don't use Flash anyway because it's a useless move, and I don't want to waste one of my Pokemon's moves on a move that I'm never going to use, and just knowing that I'm never going to use this move, and I and I never will be able to get rid of it till later on in the game until you get to meet the moons. <coughs> can't talk <laughs> the move tutor um yeah so anyway uh i caught two new pokemon uh within that little i guess you can say breakthrough yeah i guess that's a good word and so i caught a shormish which is a grass pokemon whose later <laughs> evolution can be grass and fighting which is going to be really helpful and I also caught a Pachiana, which is a dark Pokemon, who later evolves into Mightyana, who is a very strong, powerful Pokemon. So, yeah. So right now, I'm just training all these Pokemon as I wait to get to uh, run into Steven, who I will later give him the letter that I was supposed to deliver to him from that Mr. Stone. He, he like, <laughs> in return of, like, giving the letter to Steven, he gave us the Pokemon, so we had to call through it. So anyway, we're just cruising along, and Steven's going to be in this K right here, and, and yeah, then he'll just introduce himself, and he, he tells you that he's just looking for stones, and he says he has to get back on his way, but as a thank you note for giving him the, <laughs> as a thank you gift for giving him the note, he, uh, he gives you a TM-49 that contains sealing, and he registers your... Uh, that just serves his number in the Pokemon. So that was great of Steven for doing it. So now I'm just cruising along. Trying to get out all these battles. But first gotta train Abra some more because, you know, when he turns into a Kadabra, that's gonna be great. But you know, I have to be patient. <laughs> and <laughs> there that's just a little mishap, you know. I make mistakes. Um, yeah, just run into some more battles. Sorry, I, I mean, I just have to train my little Abra. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> uh, how's your guys' day going today? Today, it was just a tiring day. The weather here is bad, it was cold. It was fun, though, because I gotta go swimming. That's always fun. And, yeah, so now we run into the old man, who we saved, uh, his little wingle, a.k.a. Pika, uh, Peacock. <laughs> and in return, he takes us around in his little fairy. So now we are going to give the goods back. Yeah, wait. I don't know. But anyway, so I talked to this little girl and she gives us soft sin, which uh, increases the power of ground type moves. So that's going to be really helpful later on when I catch maybe. I don't know what ground Pokemon I catch, but it's going to be helpful because. And in the game, you can catch a ground up, and it's very powerful, and it's a ground, <laughs> it's a ground type legendary, and yeah, so that would be helpful meanwhile for him or whatever ground Pokemon I tend to come across. So yeah, um, yeah, so now I'm just training all my Pokemon on the beach before I encounter Team Aqua again on um, the museum. Uh, yeah. So Abra just leveled up again, one more level till he becomes a cadaver, and then I won't have to worry about him. Because I've been so, like, concerned about him leveling up recently that it's been kind of frustrating. It feels like I can't train my other Pokemon because Abra can't stay on his own until he actually learns some moves. But once he does evolve into a cadaver, it's going to be great. Because I know he'll be able to do great things as a cadaver. Yeah, so, um, right now I'm just sitting, just at dinner, and, yeah, so I'm just commentating. You know, guys, I really love doing this for you guys. I mean, I know not everybody loves my videos, and some people, they do love my videos, and it doesn't mean anything to me. 
if you guys dislike my videos. Actually, it helps. I mean, I say this a lot. I say, I mean, I love my haters. I, I mean, I don't have, like, big-time haters who are like, Oh, you video suck 24-7. I mean, I do get dislikes a lot, but that doesn't mean that... That's not specifically that. Because I know who the person is who's giving them. You probably, you probably realize that, realizes that too. But, you know, it just helps because I know this guy doesn't like my videos, gotta change it around. I mean, I know who he is, he's disliking the videos. And, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, say names and stuff because that's just, you know, frustrating. But, I'm just saying, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's great that he's disliking my videos. So anyway, uh, just training, facing a wing bull, who tends to be really annoying because he has a new supersonic, and that move is just really obnoxious, I, I just hate it, and yeah, so now, alright, um, what Pokemon, I know, obviously, it's not, I can't do like everyone, but what Pokemon would you like to see me, uh, join to my team soon? Like, I'm thinking of catching an Electrive, because that would make my team a little bit stronger, and then I'd probably have to catch probably a flying type Pokemon because you're a flying or a fire type. I'm gonna try to catch a flying or maybe a dragon. Like when I get those, uh, when I get into the little like desert area, I might catch uh, the Pokemon that can evolve into a uh, drag. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? Flygon. Yeah, I just love that Pokemon. I don't know why, but yeah. Um. So just training Shulamish. Uh, he evolves at level 23, so he still has quite a way to go, but he, he's still a beast right now, because he has a good set of moves, and <laughs> I get caught. <laughs> they, they caught me when I was trying to sneak up and get that Pokeball. <laughs> but anyway, so double battles, these are it's great. I uh, don't have really any mismatches on any of these people since, I mean, Tentacle, it's poison, so that's strong against my Shormish. And... Marshmallow, he's water, and they're both water. Well, <laughs> Azuriel is normal because he hasn't involved into Meryl yet, but you know, you know what I'm trying to get to. So, anyway, um, I hope everybody who saw my news video, the important news video, they really liked it, and they liked the person who had to do with it because this guy is so cool. I mean, he's a great singer. Uh, he actually interacts with his fans, and he will make a big someday. I know he will. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not much of a singer, I'm not gonna lie, but this guy is just fantastic, and he kind of makes me, after watching his videos, want to look back and like say, man, I kind of want to make some videos of me singing. But don't worry, guys, I won't be singing anytime soon. You guys would like <laughs> terrorize that. That'd be like your biggest fear, because I can't sing. But this guy is just great. He was an inspiration, even for all the singers like me to maybe try it sometime. Now, maybe I will, just to be funny. Maybe, maybe make like a little music video with my friends and stuff. I mean, obviously my friends don't know about this YouTube channel, or else I would have a lot more publicity, mainly a lot more jokes and stuff against me. Because, I mean, it, I'm a teenager. Like, it's not like I'm, like, 16 or anything, but I'm a teen. And if they were knowing that I was playing Pokemon, they would be all freaky. I mean, I know you're supposed to be true to yourself and all, but Pokemon at my age is just, it's just not right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, like, super popular or anything, and I'm not, like, class president or anything. I'm not the big-time jock. But people like me, and if they know I play Pokemon, they'd probably change their thing, and they'd be like, wow, look at this kid. But, I mean, it's something I like, and I'm going to do it. So, <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just training. I mean, training's great. I actually find it enjoyable just sitting there, training my Pokemon. Because when I, when I look back at my team, I'm like, wow, man, it really turned out great. So I'm just training my Shroomish. I really want to use this guy in the future, so I have to evolve it soon. And, yeah, it's, it's kind of like going to be like, mm, probably one of my main Pokemon. I'm gonna use once it falls, and it, I don't know why, but it seems like it levels up a lot faster than all the other, all the other Pokemon. No, <laughs> all my other Pokemon. Uh, whoa. <laughs> and I don't know why I kept in against the uh, Tentacle. That didn't, that didn't make a lot of sense because it's poison, <laughs> and my Pokemon's grass. So 
Yeah, I'm having a little difficulty, and <laughs> but I leech seed it, so uh, that's a good, like, little long-term move, like, after a while, I mean, when it, eventually when it levels up higher, it's not going to have nearly the effect that it would now, but, uh, keep high voice cracks, but, uh, it's just a great move in general. So, yeah, um, just healing up. I don't know why I did that, because all my other Pokemon could use a lot more healing than Shurmish. And he already has a Leech, so. But, whatever. And he levels up to 16, he wants to learn Mega Drain. I mean, absorbing Mega Drain aren't, like, powerful or anything, but they're always good moves to keep in handy. So, I just teach it over Absorb. And now I'm just gonna have one last battle. I promise this is gonna be my last battle on the beach before I head on with my journey. So, and yeah, just battling against this level 12 Azori. I can't pronounce these Pokemon, most of the Pokemon's name, I'm not gonna lie, so I'm sorry guys, but <laughs> you might just have to deal with it. So, anyway, just finishing up the battle, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, hopefully you guys will be seeing sidebars on this video, because, like, my friend volunteered to actually help me. I mean, it was really nice of him. It's, it's not like I, like, it's not like he, like, really wanted to. I'm not saying, like, I forced him, but I, like, kind of, like, convinced him to. And he, he was just cool with it, and he, he's volunteering to help me with my sidebars because, <laughs> as you could tell in my last video, which, if you can't see right now, it will be in the description, that was my ideal uh, envision of sidebars. And, as you can tell, it really sucked. Like, I, I don't care what you guys, like, if you say it sucks, because I know it does. But anyway, yeah, so, just having some fun, uh, trying to find the little professor, looking up here, he's not up here. So I'm, I'm like, where could he possibly be? So I'm just continually walking around, and I see another big building, and then Team Aqua is there. Not Team Aqua. But, <laughs> for some reason, you have to pay 50 bucks just to get in the museum. But we finally find him. And, yeah, so you give him the parts, but then Team Aqua comes to try to take him. So you have to help him out, battle all these guys. They're nothing hard, but you see a new Pokemon, Carvana, which is the first stage of evolution before it turns into a Sharpedo, which is a very, very, very powerful Pokemon that I kind of want to get, but I already have a Marshawn, so if I got another water Pokemon, it would kind of go to waste almost. So, but anyway, so I'm just leveling up my Shroomish a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's going, everything's really going well with this playthrough. I mean, I really love this game a lot more than Gold, I'm not going to lie, and I prefer to just do this over Gold, but if you guys like the Gold, I mean, I want to do it. I mean, I, s I didn't sign up for my own personal, like, oh, I love this game, I want to just play this game. I did it so I could entertain you guys, not me. So, um, tell me, tell me, <laughs> tell me guys if you would like to see, like, what I've been doing now, like, 50-50, or if you would just like to see a lot more emerald and then a little less gold. I mean, that, I mean, I'm not saying it's like, you guys have to say that, because you don't. I mean, you're the subscribers and fans and viewers, and you guys get it. I want you guys to feel a hundred percent like free to say whatever you want and be a hundred percent true with me. Like if you don't like my videos, tell me that. You guys don't like the commentary job I'm doing. Like, I mean, I've heard this a lot, and I'm gonna try to fix this because my birthday's coming up really soon. I have this crummy little like, it's like a built-in mic. I mean, my co computer is really old, and it makes this noise whenever I speak, and it's really annoying. And some person spotted it out, and I was thinking that. And I was looking at my commentaries, I'm like, wow, these people, they're right, this is awful. And I, that's just one of the little things you guys can say. Just say, the sound quality is annoying, or the gameplay in general is just bad. I mean, just, I don't care if you guys dislike it, as long as you guys actually write a comment, like, what's wrong with it. If you just dislike it to dislike it, that really ticks me off. But if you write a comment, and, I mean, that just makes them stronger, because you guys are the people who help me make vid better videos. So anyway, we run into Scott again, and we first ran into him while we were teaching Wally to uh, catch a Pokemon, where we also met our dad, 
And yeah, so that's the end of our video talking to Scott, and we'll continue 